Shalom. Shalom. I give out any glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Kadash. The Dabonis to our apostles and elders, great millstone. Salutations to our sister Akiyam, pushing his word out across the world, across the four corners of the world. Next, what we're going to is a time is being shortened. As you see how everything is transpiring within this world, hey, everything is moving really fast. Now, it's moving so fast in the spirit, you got people that's in the world, they start to be uh, noticeable to it also, you know? So there's a lot of things that's moving in the spirit that further proves, according to the Holy Scriptures, that we are in the signs of our times. We are approaching the second debut of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. He prophesied these things when he was telling his disciples what was going to transpire on this earth. And one of those main things was that time was going to be short enough, only for the elect's sake. All right? This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Yeah. Verse 2, a time, in, it's like a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill. Yep. So a time to pluck up that which is planted. So what's being planted right now? He saw his wicked vibration through his, um, you know, his, his divine blessing, you can say that, you know? By him being an establishment right, right now, as you can see how the world, the earth is in, uh, has polluted and wickedness. So by him being, uh, you know, established, Yahweh Bashan Shah, he's about to get ready to pluck him up by the evolution, you know? And a time to pluck up that which is planted. Verse 3, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up. Uh, it hits history. Yeah. You know, and yeah. you look at how Esau Edom in this present day is, is planting wickedness, playing, uh, uh, planting unrighteousness, playing thing, uh, planting things that are contrary to the Heavenly Father's word. But the scripture says, what? For, for every season, right, it comes the opposite of that. Yeah. So you got the, the, the seasons where you plant. And you got the season to where you reap. And Esau Edom is, is, is entering upon the season of reaping. You know, because the Most High is going to require all of the works of his hands. That's right. Hey, I got a precept for the elder. This is 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds. Yep. And, and, and that's why that veil, that veil, they cast the covering over the face of the people, the eyes of the people, the elect of the Most High, that veil's been uplifted. So now they can see clearly now that Esau's reign is gone because the, the, the purpose of Satan is to do what? To be an adversary. Hey, it's a back of the elder up in the NLT, 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. We use the Most High's mighty weapons, not worldly weapons, to knock down the strongholds of human reasoning and to destroy false arguments. Yeah, and by the art of the scriptures. Right. You know, because Esau, he wants us to come in here cornerly, because that's where his blessing lies in. Right. So by us coming in the spirit, by uh, by these, um, the divine words that's uttered by Yahweh Bashim mm -hmm. that's how we're breaking down these strongholds within the society. That's why people are waking up through the Holy Spirit. Yeah, and since you said that, we destroy every proud obstacle that keeps people from knowing the Most High Yahweh. Yeah. We capture their rebellious thoughts and teach them to obey Mashiach. Yeah, so it's like an image that he has created. You think about like his white supremacy. Look how this really has just spoiled these other nations, man. Every time you look up somebody that's within the scriptures, any type of great hero back then, they always trans back to Esau Edom, man. You know? So now we're breaking this, our covering cast through the, you know, through the gift of the Holy Spirit. Man. Uh, yeah, right? he's the least common denominator, and, and everything reverts back everything. to him. I got a question for you, On Matthew 26 and 41, watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. That's right. And that's why you have to really invest in the spirit, especially at the end days, right? Because, hey, the flesh is weak. Meaning what? Hey, this world, the fashion of this world, what, what does it do? It's created to strengthen the flesh. So that's why we have to fast, we have to pray, we have to be in tune with the spirit so we can be in tune with our spirit, man. You yeah, know? Before you, Go ahead, bro. It's back in the same book, Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, verse 17. I said in my heart, the most high shall judge the righteous and the wicked, but there is a time, therefore, every purpose and for every work and that's why the most high speed no time because this is leading to leading leading into what 
judgment day of Yahweh Hashem also. That's why these damn days are moving so fast. That's why hell money comes back around extremely fast because Yahweh and Yahusha are sick about Esau is ruling the wickedness. And he got his meat inside the crime. You know, constantly calling out to the heavenly Father. And only be God's son that uh, take this place down, man, destroy this devil, man. And I like, you know what I'm saying, mentioned on a few occasions when the child is constantly, you know what I'm saying, just nagging and crying and whining to their father, they eventually break them down, they give them what they want, man. And what we want is to return your house shot to destroy this wicked kingdom, man, instead of righteousness. Mm -hmm. sure. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 16, starting at verse 1. The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and the temp and the tempting desire desired him that he the the tempting I'm starting book of Matthew chapter 16 starting at verse 1 the Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. Verse 2. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye, sh ye say it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and, and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but ye cannot, but ye not discern the sign of the times. Yeah, so majority of these people are not spiritually observing the times we are in. As it says, the second measure is not measuring the times diligently in itself. Mm -hmm. So you're not seeing what's going on current news. You'd be like, hey, man, this filters up with the Holy Scriptures. Right. So a lot of people are not watching. So by you not watching, you're losing time within this society. That's right. You know, and that's going to be pretty much like a breach upon your salvation. Mm -hmm. you know? Jeremiah 87 gave the stork in the heaven no her appointed times. And the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming. But my yeah. people, so these are birds, are spiritual enough to know when it's time to migrate to a better region for safety and shelter. Right. Where they see that yeah. storm coming. Mm -hmm. So what my people? But my people, speaking about two thirds of our people right. who do not have that spiritual outsell, and they're not seeing what times we are in. Yeah. No, not the judgment of the Lord Yahweh. So they don't know why these divine acts are happening upon this earth. Right. All the execution, uh, execution of judgments are going on. They'd be like, why are these things happening? Right. When you see a lot of our people getting put to death, go to the coming board, people say, oh, this person died at an un untimely time. Right. Or, you know what I'm saying, why did this uh, type of incident happen to this particular person? Or this baby or something like that. Mm -hmm. If you knew according to the scriptures, why this particular person got judged, then you would be at peace within your mind. Exactly. You know? right. Like we're in the, uh, uh, approaching the month of uh, the, the fall, right? So you're gonna see, start seeing the the leaves start turning like orange, you no know, yellowish, and the grass start turning brown. You know, it's getting ready to start dying out because what? We're approaching the time of the fall, and the and the plants know that that time is approaching, so they start you know falling in their uh, uh, rightful state, and, and and you know that we're approaching fall because of those things, man. That just need to change. So if, if you have any understanding of the scriptures, man, as it is written, the things to look out for and understand that the Lord is visiting the earth, and you will understand the time for speeding up because of your house shall get ready to return by the actions that's going on, the right. things that are happening, man. Because he said these things will be happening, man, before he returns. Right. And they, they are liking them to those plants. So you think about what it says in Second Peter, what manner of persons you should be in. Look at these latter days. That's right. You know? Romans chapter 13, verse 11, in that knowing that the time, that now is high time to wake out of sleep, but now it's our salvation here than we believe. Right. Be of the Holy Spirit. And that's the reason why we know the salvation is nearer or not. Right? The same way, like the brother saying how we can, or you got two thirds and you know the let scattered throughout the four corners of the world, they can tell you when a storm is coming. Right, but they can tell you any other time except for the time of Yahweh Hashem Shah. Why? Because they're not spiritually in tune. They have invested in their flesh. Now they can tell you when uh, the NFL season is coming, oh, my the NBA season, the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. they cannot spiritually discern these divine acts from around the world. Man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, see, the night, the night is far spent. 
Right. The day is at hand. Like the day is at hand. We're approaching the day of Yahweh Hashem Shah, man. Go ahead. Let us therefore cast up the works of darkness. Right, the works of darkness. Right, and once you are enlightened, hey, you need to stay in the light to the best of your ability. Why would you want to go back to sleep knowing that this fucking place is going to be destroyed? Right, go ahead. And let us put on the armor of light. Put on the armor of light by what? Meditating your mind in the scriptures, man. Investing in the spirit. Go ahead, bro. Let us walk honestly as in the day. And if you walk in honesty, it's how you conduct your lifestyle via the scriptures to the best of your ability. Go ahead. Not in rioting and drunkenness. That's it. Not in chambering and wantonness. That's it. Not because in all of these characteristics means what? You're out of tune. Go ahead. Not in strife and envy. That's right. But but put ye on Yahweh Shah Mashiach. But put ye on Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, or Yahweh Shah. Right? And how do you do that? By basically sinking up in the spirit. Being on one accord. Go ahead. And make not provision for the flesh. Right, make not provision. Because what happens if the flesh catch you slipping, then the devil is going to utilize that as a tactic to get your body here. And if you're blinded or if you're back asleep, you're not going to be able to understand the time frame. To fulfill the lust thereof. To fulfill the lust thereof. Your desires, based on this worldly perception. Mm -hmm. Bring this yep. It's Matthew twenty-four and three. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, "Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming?" And that's the spirit we in it'll be. You know, and we're we're wanting we're wanting to know the size of the coming right. of Yahweh right. and that's why we keep looking at current events, yeah. and we're filtering out these current events via the scriptures. We get hyped when we and see we things hyped. like that, like World War Three around the corner. Exactly. They talking about economic collapse. Yeah. We had a billionaire investor just came out. He said, like, pretty much America's in the same shadow on the same boat as the uh, Roman Empire. And with this rising inflation, you know right. what I'm saying? And Pew just came out and said, oh, yeah, a nuclear war is going yeah. to happen. Yeah. So, yeah, we're close. That's right. Yeah. Well, it shows you the spirit that the prophets were in, you know, the disciples. This is the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, Will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? Yeah, so there was always in the spirit desire for a new righteous kingdom, man. Right. So how much more in these latter days of all hell breaking loose, you got the most wicked, you know what I'm saying, king, you know, referring to Esau even being a rulership, man. Right. Look how <laughs> awkward and weird this world is right now, you know? So, um, you know, those same prophets coming back in the process called reincarnation, I will rock this out, that's us, you're still desiring that great thing, man, right. you know? Um, like like you were saying, or well, uh, design a sign, like they ask him, uh, what will be the sign? What will be the sign? This is uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. And he sat upon the Mount of Olives, and the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the signs of thy coming and the end of the world? You know, you know the end of the world means the end of this age, this earth age. The world is not going to explode. The uh, end of uh, Esau age, you know. The uh, Jacob held the uh, hill of Esau. That's right. It's verse 4. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. That's why you got to try the spirit by the spirit. Yep. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. Russia and America. And see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For all nations shall rise against nations and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And all these things are the beginning of sorrow. And we see all these things the brother just read and mentioned. All these things are taking place right now, man. The pot is being stirred, man. And it's boiling, but eventually it's going to boil over, man. All these things are going to completely be chaotic, man. You're going to have uh, uh, civil unrest here in Babylon. And it's already going on in other places, man. But it's going to be completely just, just complete chaos, man. It's going to be it's going to be at that point where there's no, uh, it has gone so far, there's no turning around. That's right. You know, that's right. and that's going to be, you know what I'm saying, preparing for the return of your house shot, man. It seems like it's going to start with Chicago. It's right. 
work for you. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens. And it's talking about the spiritual realm. So Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, as well as the holy angels, are rejoicing because Esau's kingdom is, is about to be destroyed. And ye that dwell in them. Right, and we're, we're in tune with the heavens via the Holy Spirit. Go ahead. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. to the inhabitants of the world, man. And of the sea. Right. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he know it that his because he know it that he have but a short time and the reason why the nobility of Edom understand they have a short time because they see the prophets as well as the time is moving fast So uh, as you can see, hey, we're bringing out through the spirit. Hey, time is being just reduced day by day, man. You know? Matthew 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So uh, why these days are passing by so fast for the elect's sake? You know, uh, you think about you looking up with just Lot. It says he was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. So he was vexed in the spirit of the unlawful deeds going around in that time frame. So how much more now in Babylon the Great, man? You know, where you can eat, you can just like, it's like a free for all in wickedness that you can do here, man. You can exercise any type of opinion or belief that you have. And it's all be accepted, you know? Mm -hmm. So within this society, that's what we're looking forward to, a great collapse. And only your house shots going to be able to bring that. And that's why I'll be looking forward to that time. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon in Ap Apocrypha, chapter 8, verse 8. If a man desire much experience, she knoweth things of old, and conjureth a right what is to come. Conjecture a right what is to come, that's in the spirit of prophecy, man. What prophecy means? To say before. So we see things coming to pass, and that's the gift of the Holy Spirit. That's why we can be able to detail that right now. You know? She knows the subtilities of speeches. Yeah, so through this wisdom, we know when somebody's going up according to the scriptures. Because they're not rightly dividing the word of truth. Go ahead. And can expound dark sentences. Parables. Go ahead. And foresee of signs and wonders and the events of seasons and times. So through this special gift, which is the spiritual understanding, we can see why all these things are transpiring around the world because the time is being shortened. Why everybody else is not spiritually observing the times. Mm -hmm. So that's a gift that we have within these latter days. So why not take advantage of it? Mm -hmm. You're seeing time is being shortened. So why not invest into the Holy Spirit by getting yourselves a right so you can be that beautiful bride for that, uh, that groomsman, that yeah. bridegroom, yeah, how we shot. You know, so that's what we're doing through the Holy Spirit. We're spiritually observing, spiritually measuring the times diligently in itself. Yeah. Yeah. Wisdom Psalm 6 and 20. Therefore, the, therefore the desire of wisdom is great for a king. Hey, our desires. And that's the reason why we're hasting the time. That's right. Yeah. And so through the Spirit, hopefully you all was edified. It was just a quick lesson. Hey, time is being shortened. And it's only for the elect's sake. So I brought this out, you all said identify this they're about in the glory again too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, again to our apostles and elders, great millstone. Salutations to all you sister Akim. Y'all stay strong, keep pushing forward. Shalom. 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 Shalom.